Oh, people of YouTube right here, the Malik Aaron Aaron. And for the last video, sorry, I was like, well, coughing. I just got over a pretty bad cold. But I'm all good now. Or at least I'm like 90% good. There's still a bit of coughing left in me, but I'm more than, I'm more than ready you know, to do this. So let's do it. Also, disclaimer. Uh, Thor Ragnarok review. I will see it, obviously. That video won't come until... I might do the same thing I did with Blade Runner and make it a separate thing. I mean... Hmm. I'm either going to make it a separate thing or I'm just going to combine it with my Monday review because they're going to be filming... I did, because you all know my reviews are sets of five. I'm trying to film three of these tonight on a Friday, and the other two on a Saturday. And then the reason I want to do that is because on Saturday, after those two reviews, I plan on filming my most ambitious video ever. It's probably going to be multiple parts. It's a full length Royal Rumble, which will probably last a long time. So, warning you. So Thor Ragnarok will come a little later, a couple days later. My apologies. I know it's getting a lot of hype right now. People love it. But yeah, that'll, that will have to wait. So my apologies. So now, back to The Matrix. A franchise that ruined itself for being... It tried to be real smart, but it ended up being real stupid. <laughs> so... Now, we reviewed The Matrix, the original. And I reviewed The Animatrix, the anime anthology that came along with this collection. So what's left? The two back-to-back -back sequels that ruined all the good love this movie had. So, yeah, so you're probably asking, which one am I doing? Reloaded or Revolutions? Well, we're doing Revolutions. I know. And I know, you're skipping over Reloaded. You're not going in chronological order. When have I ever gone chronological order? Other than the Sonic reviews, of course. But when have I ever gone in chronological order, really? I mean, there's rarely been times I went chron chronological order. So, obviously, that was a, a really big deal, honestly. Besides... Uh, Matrix Re Revolutions is, I'm going to be brutally honest, it's one of the worst movies at the t at a time, a couple years ago. I would say this was one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life, but a couple other movies I've seen surpassed that level of awful, so, yeah, besides, like, I mean, Reloaded is okay, but it's not, it's not great. So, yeah, so that's why we're doing Revolution, so. Oh, boy, here we go. Ugh. So, in, in the events of Reloaded, um, after a bunch of action and whatnot, um, if I remember correctly, Agent Smith occupied, like, someone from, like, the real world, from Zion, occupied, he put himself into a body, right? And Neo's eyes are just gone, they're just, so he has to wear, like, a, like, I guess a blindfold on him. Because, you know, they don't have much technology or, like, me like medical care in this future. <coughs> yeah, still get all that cold. Um, so, yeah, they're, people of Zion are kind of screwed. H. Smith wants to take over the entire program of the Matrix. And whatnot, he makes like, he made like a billion of himself. He's gonna take over. And then Neo 
Um, well, he goes in the Matrix. He has to do some stuff. He has to go find a little girl. A little family. He has to go to the Oracle. Yeah, the Oracle. And then... Talk to her about stuff. About he is the one. He's the only one to save him. Blah, 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 blah. Generic hero stuff. Then, uh... Neo... See Neo, not Neo, not Neo, Morpheus, Trinity, and I forgot that other guy. Forgot his name. If you know the Matrix, please tell me that dude's name. It's the Asian dude who had like the white outfit on. Forgot his name. So they had to meet like this evil guy who's wearing red because red symbolizes evil, apparently. Ugh. And so they talk to him, and blah, 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 nothing interesting happens. Some more uninteresting stuff happens. Neo, um, I believe Neo and Trinity are, like, in a little action scene where you see Neo, like, he can control the machines somehow. He's, like, cybernetically connected to machines. I don't, I don't know. Trinity gets killed. I <clears throat> and so Neo has to go into the machine a big old fake old CGI face this robotic looking face that looks like a Zordon from the recent Power Rangers movie that came out this year and he's just like if I succeed I will save the world if I don't I won't <laughs> Then he goes in, then he fights Agent Smith with a bunch of Agent Smiths everywhere, and they don't do anything. They're just background extras. But the fight between um, Neo and Agent Smith was honestly the best thing in the entire movie by a long shot. <laughs> just to see, like, Neo, look at all raining down. But the Neo, a bunch of Agent Smiths just looking at him. And then, like, some epic music's playing. And then, the uh, Neo and Agent Smith say some words for their fight. Then they run against each other. Then they, you know, a big old fist fight. A kung fu fight. <coughs> and then it decides to pull a Dragon Ball Z. And everyone's just... <laughs> flying everywhere. Like, like it's a Goku and Vegeta fight. <laughs> Seriously. That's what it looks like. Flying everywhere, there's big old explosions. Eh. I mean, it looks cool, but at the same time, it looks real, real fake. Especially compared to the original Matrix. And then they fight for a while. And then, Agent Smith thinks he's one. But Neo, like, did a thing, and then it caused the whole system to collapse, and then he saved the world, and whatnot, and then everyone and Zion's all like, yay, we beat the machines, even though many of us died, we beat the machines. Oh, I forgot. Uh, the people of Zion, um... They had the little robots and they were fighting all the machines coming in. It is. It should be cool. But it's not. It's just. Really lackluster just shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting. And, shooting. and that's it. That's all you get out of this little war. <coughs> and then. Everyone's all happy. Little girl's just like, will he Will he ever come back? And then the Oracle's just like, I'm sure he will. And then the credits roll. And then... That's the end of this trilogy. What a crappy ending it is. <laughs> I mean, gosh. I mean, going back to Sonic. That's like, imagine if Sonic 06 was, well... Sonic Adventure 3. Imagine that. Matrix Revolutions would be the equivalent of that. 
Because this movie is just terrible. Honestly, and I know some Matrix fans who are defend this movie. And look, if that's your opinion. If you like this movie, fine. I have nothing against you. I'm, I respect everybody's opinion. But this is my opinion. This movie sucks. <laughs> it's boring. It's slow. Has no real memorable action scenes other than at least the beginning of Neo versus uh, Agent Smith before it just goes into Dragon Ball Z mode. Um, characters are just, they feel like so empty now. Like, you, you, you're expected to really care. They're supposed to have big old character development, but you really don't see that. They just feel empty. I mean, Neo's the only one you care about, probably because in the Matrix we, in the, <coughs> Into the Matrix video game. He wasn't in there. And everyone was just like. Where is he? I guess that would explain. Why people actually cared about Neo. In this movie. But. Yeah. It was just. They just felt so empty. They didn't feel like. Real characters. Story, the story is just so. Predictable. And underwhelming. The CGI is really underwhelming. Under, while the original looks really good for its age, this one does not. Like, seriously. Somehow, in four years, this came out in 1999. These came out in 2003. In four years, the CGI managed to get even more fake than it did in 1999. I mean, how does that happen? Honestly. <laughs> But, yeah, the characters are empty, story's predictable, CGI is really, really outdated, like, uh, Attack of the Clones outdated. Um, uh, yeah, it's it's just a bad movie. It was a horrible way to end the series. Because it started out so good, it started out with so much potential, it started out so white hot, and then it all just... <laughs> After Matrix Reload, because when Matrix Reload was coming out, and the Matrix video game, Enter the Matrix came out, Matrix was still white hot. It was still extremely popular, because Matrix Reloaded broke a lot of records. It made a lot of money for an R-rated movie, and then Enter the Matrix, that game sold over 5 million copies. Imagine that, for a, li for a movie license game, 5 million copies. That's more than a, most, a lot of great games today. A lot of great games today can't even sell that much. It's ridiculous. And then after that, the hype just died. It died, and it died hard. And now Warner Brothers think about relaunching the series as a getting a writer's room. Yeah, because Transformers has proven that clearly works. <laughs> yeah. Good luck with that one, brothers. So, I'm going to get Matrix Revolutions. 3 out of 10. Bad movie. Don't watch it. Honestly, I would say stick with watching the original. Don't watch Reloaded or Revolutions. Because you're either going to be confused or bored. And those things are two of the worst things you can have in a movie. And really anything, really. So yeah, 3 out of 10, please, please, please suggest you don't watch this. Stick with this, ignore this, this is good. These are only two good ones, this one is mediocre, this one is bad. Just letting you know now. So yeah, that's the Matrix Revolutions. <coughs> and now the... Match time, I presume. If you saw in the John Wick 2 review, Triple H made a little S.H.I.E.L.D.-esque video about this is going to be The S.H.I.E.L.D. versus Evolution 3, and Ric Flair was going to be with them. And 
that match is going to happen right now. So, my anticipation is coming to this. Shield Evolution 3, right here on this channel. We were going to get to that right now. Here we are. Evolution. The game. The Viper. The Animal. And the Nature Boy. Against. The Lunatic Fringe. The Architect. The Big Dog. And Vinnie Mac himself. Well, it's actually going to be these three. These guys are just outside enforcers, but whatever. And it starts right now. 